All right, guys, welcome back to PVZ Heroes. This is the road to get good. Now, at the end of the last video, I asked you guys what I should spend 7K sparks on. I was since able to get up to 8K sparks, which actually helped because I kept seeing the same names popping up in the comments. Uh, first of all, you guys agreed with me that the Leprechaun Imp would be a good idea. A lot of people said that the Imposter was an absolute must. And then a lot of people were recommending Bad Moon Rising as well. Now, if we look at the deck with a nice punchy name, you'll see that I have made four Imposters and four Leprechaun Imps. So that's pretty much all the sparks spent on them. And I have to say, since I've been using them this deck has just become like 10 times more fun the leprechaun imp basically stops you from ever running out of cards and then the imposter basically guarantees that you're always going to have something to play not to mention the whole gag with him is that he conjures a one cost which means there's a good chance you end up just getting another imposter anyway i made a few other changes the main one being this i actually took out the space imp i know it says cosmic imp but i'm saying the space imp so suck my left one i took him out because i don't know it seems to me like a three cost one one wasn't really worth it even if it had deadly and it conjured something else. We'll jump into a game, see what we can do. Sitting in League 7 at the moment, and I'm playing someone else in League 7. Um, that's actually a pretty good hand. I'm, I'm going to keep that. So we get an imposter right off the bat. I'll probably just play him. And he's going to do that. Conjured. Oh, okay, I wasn't really wanting that one. Um... <laughs> Um, I won't do anything. He's now got the one sun advantage for the rest of the game. When environment is played, this gets... I uh, uh, probably want to be playing the space cadet there because the seedling could fuck me over. It might not. Honestly, I don't really trust my chances, so I'm personally not going to risk it. This guy's gravestone deadly. Mm, do I play him? Uh, I mean, I guess so can't hurt. What I really like about this deck is you see the deck that I play for the plants that's kind of sort of a healing deck and actually now that I mentioned that I was opening a couple packs just to get the rest of the sparks together. I managed to get Hearty Choke number four so that was all right but that deck's more like a sort of late game thing. This is kind of like you can beat him in the early game and in the late game so it's kind of just good all around. Start a turn gets plus one sun this turn and transforms into a sunnier shroom. Okay well it's gonna die anyway so it doesn't matter. Oh we got another imposter. Nice. Play that there. Happy days. And this is damage. Heal your hero for that much. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Oh, wait, what the fuck does this thing do? When you play a plant, do one damage to the zombie hero. Ah, okay. It is kind of annoying that he keeps playing it. Uh, I'm not going to play that environment because there's not much point. I think that's the one where basically at the start of the turn, if... Yes! Thank you! If at the start of the turn you have a zombie in that lane, then I think it gives you a free teleport. Oh, sweet. It just gave me two of them. Cool. Well, I'm playing both of them. Don't even give a shit. Mm, and I'm going to play this guy here as well. So they all got deadly. I kind of wish I could have got more teleports, actually. They made it a legend, so, I mean, there goes that idea. Drinking tea out of a coffee mug. As you do. He's only got two cards in his hand, so... Mm, I mean, we're not looking bad. I've got options, and not only have I got options, I have the game changer. This guy... <laughs> has he just quit? Are you fucking kidding me? This guy's quit as well? This guy had one of them gold stickers, man. I thought he was going to be good. And that's coming from me. The guy who's made a series dedicated to trying to sort out the fact that he's shit. So for just the second episode in a row, we've we've had a rage quit. Fantastic. To hell with that, man. We'll go again. And now it's just hit me that this is going to end up being a long video. Well, shit. Oh, what a hand. Jesus Christ. All right. I'll start with a leprechaun okay he's gonna do that that's fine to be fair the only purpose they really serve is just to play them and then that's it once they're out it's job done do you know what i'm saying and he hasn't done anything so i'm playing that he's gonna get a free teleport anyway there's the teleport play imposter there another solar flare so mm. i mean solar flare is pretty much the only hero i actually play on plants i mean i'd like to think i know it pretty well and he took out my environment uh, well you're a dick Got another teleport okay uh play that guy man i'm telling you, this toxic waste imp is like mvp so he's gonna play that but that's pointless because my guy's got deadly i might as well play at least one of the teleports. Oh my god, it gave... <laughs> Alright, give me another leprechaun. That's fine, I'll take it. Mate, I'm gonna be drawing so many cards. Okay, the button mushrooms in random lanes. I don't mind that, that's cool. Okay, I just drew another teleport. I'll leave it, I won't do anything. I got the walrus guy there, but honestly, I think I'd rather play him in the water lane. So, play teleport. Mm, play another one, see if I get anything better. A rocket. Mm, no. See, what's kind of good as well is if I leave that puff shroom in the high lane, I'm quite happy for him to keep hitting one damage. Because that way he's just kind of filling up the block meter. Play Toxic Waste. And then play him. See, it's not the best deck in the world. It's just fun. I just enjoy playing this one. Ah, uh, he's doing that. Well, I'll play the Space Cadet there. I swear to fucking God, you better not turn it into something good. I will lose my shit. <laughs> So harsh. And it's about to get worse. Unlucky. I get the overshoot. Take him out. And game over. Kitchen sink does it yet again. I do not know what the fuck I would do without this guy. It's kind of bad that I have to rely on him like as much as I do. You see, the reassuring thing is that people will come at you and they'll say shit like, oh, if you didn't have the kitchen sink zombie, you'd never win. Yeah, but that's the thing. 
I do have him. So I never have to worry about that. Mate, life is good. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I was thinking of maybe hitting up some packs. So I'll tell you what, leave a like on this video if you want me to do a pack opening next time. And if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe as well. Maybe even hit the little notification thing and become part of the notification squad, whatever they call themselves. Fuck if I know. And I'll see you on Tuesday. So thanks as always for watching, guys. Have a good one. And I'll catch you next time. Release the brainstorm to make the motherfucking brain.